100.9 The Creek, Real Music, Real Radio. Creekside Morning, Tony Doolin, Charles Davis, and his shovels and rope. The devil is all around. They're coming to town February 14th. Valentine's Day. Make people. a nice Valentine's Day date. Go ahead and take care of it now so you won't be rushing later. Exactly. Buy those tickets now. Mm-hmm. It is uh, Monday morning. It is. Coming off of uh, three hockey games mm-hmm. over the weekend, which means... From Alex Von Coito, the voice. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. Voice. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. 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 Alex Von Coito. My fighter. Alex, I don't know if you noticed, um, Ryan Smith from Lazy Susan is here. Ryan's our resident bartender. Oh, that's who that was. Yeah, yeah that's who that okay. is. Um, oh, cool. So I'm not saying that we needed to drink this wine mm-hmm. to have you on the show, but it don't hurt. <laughs> it really doesn't. It really doesn't, dude. Rose Get, yourself, all day. Get yourself through that intro. Rose for Alex. It's just a light beverage, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Early usually, morning beverage. Usually we wait and drink after you leave. Yeah, then so. the hard liquor comes out. <laughs> That's when the hard liquor comes out. Alex, good morning. Good morning. It was uh, a busy weekend, man. It sure was. Yep. So uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday games. Let's just talk about Saturday's game yeah, because that's the one everybody's yeah. buzzing about. I agree. The first two games didn't go so well. So um, let's just get right into Saturday. Man. <laughs> man. Uh, a lot of, uh, lot of people there Saturday night. He's like, he's like, yeah, a whole lot of people. <laughs> yeah, that was the largest crowd we've ever had. Uh, uh, ever. In, in five years. So yep. shout out. Yep. Over 5,600 people. Yes, wow. sir. I believe the final uh, the final count was 5,619. That's which correct. Which is actually incorrect because oh. I forgot my tickets and did not scan them. Oh, so it should have been 5,621. So 5,621. That's mm. what it should have been. Okay, I thought you had four for some reason. Well, I do. I just I only use two. Oh, okay. Saturday you only use the dogs. Gotcha. Only use two. All right. So, so but fifty six twenty one. Yeah, it was incredible. Um, just a huge shout out to Macon, Middle Georgia, and the surrounding area for showing your support because that atmosphere that um, you guys created on Saturday just truly helped the team. I um, bet. Yeah, in, yeah. In every sense of the yeah. word, it helped the staff. Every you could just feel the electricity. That crowd night. was into it. It was mm-hmm. tough for me to do my job because I couldn't get through the aisles. Right. <laughs> it was insane, Excuse me. dude. Excuse me. So maybe it actually hurt part of the staff, but it's still me, worth it. Me. Yeah. And it's all about me, Alex. Let's just bring it back to me. It's all about me, man. Uh, but, man, what a good time yeah, Saturday night. Unbelievable. Yep. The atmosphere was just unlike anything I've seen here in Macon for the past uh, two seasons since I've been here. And obviously beyond that, I mean, Blair Floyd, our general manager, he posted a, a little tidbit yesterday on Facebook just thanking everybody who came out because he's been here pretty much since the beginning. and. Um, he just kind of reaffirmed that that was our our biggest crowd ever by yeah. a long shot. Um, I think it surpassed the championship game by mm. by almost two thousand. Wow, mm-hmm. that's wow. strong, man. Yeah, it's very strong. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we do have a game this Friday, mm-hmm. one that's game right. this weekend. Uh, then it's a bit of a dry spell. We have a couple of weeks where we don't have home games. Uh, we don't pick up until I believe the twenty first, twenty second. Yep, yep, that's of February. Right. But mm-hmm. uh, tell us about uh, Friday night's game versus Huntsville. Yeah, so we're really hoping to obviously ride some of this momentum that we yeah. have now um, with just such a great, not only a great crowd but a great win on Saturday yeah. as well, and carry that into this upcoming weekend. Um, we're hosting Huntsville, trying to redeem ourselves. They're the team that uh, that beat us on Friday this past weekend. Okay. Um, you know they're the, they're the defending champs. It's always a game that we have circled on our calendars, and it's our family four pack night that we're doing um, this Friday. It's the second to last family four pack we're offering all season. So we definitely encourage you uh, tuned in out there that if you've done a family four pack before and if you enjoyed it, by all means come on back because it's a great, really affordable way to come out and enjoy a mayhem hockey game. Yeah. The family four pack consists of it's fifty bucks. Four tickets plus a $30 Texas Roadhouse gift card. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's a nice value, man. Yeah. It sure is. Yep. If you take off the gift card, that's just $5 a ticket. $5 right a ticket. Which is even less than, than what you would pay Saturday. Than, than Saturday. Then yeah. right. uh, pack so, the Plex night Saturday night. Yeah. And so you ain't got to take them kids out to use that gift card. You, you, and, your, no. you and your significant other use that. No. Leave mm-hmm. the kids at home. Yeah. yeah, yeah no. Don't take the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, just as a side note, you don't need to turn around and use that gift card that weekend or anything. You, it's good. It's a gift card. It's You're good. Valid. It's valid until the end of the season, at least. Okay, cool. I think early summer. So Okay, cool. All right, so mm-hmm. we've talked about this past weekend. Uh, let's uh, we've talked about this upcoming game. Uh, yes, let's segue mm-hmm. into the player guest that you brought yeah, today. Absolutely, uh, it's it's actually very tough for us to uh, introduce you because we have an artist we play here on the station who's called Coulter Wall. Coulter Wall. <laughs> so this throws me off a little bit. Yeah. Who are you? Because that ain't your name. <laughs> no, I'm Colton Walter. Colton Walter. <laughs> yes, sir. Walton. Okay. Walton. Yes, Walton. How do you spell that? W O L T R Walter. 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 You still got it Walter. wrong. Well, I still got it wrong. Yeah. I told you it confuses me, man. Col- Coulter Walton. 
But uh, you're you're a recent acquisition uh, for the mayhem. How long have you been here? Two weeks. Uh, yeah, about two weeks. Okay. Well, you made a hell of an impression Saturday night. <laughs> uh, first hat trick we have had in the centerplex in a couple of years. Yeah, uh, first hat trick the team's had since January of last season in Evansville. Okay, that was January nineteenth, I think. So, o- so over a year since we've had our last hat trick. I was really, and I don't think I've seen one at the centerplex. So I was curious to see what would happen. And obviously, yeah. the answer is nobody really knew. <laughs> we what to talked do. about that. Um, I have some questions but, about a hat but, trick. Yeah, shout out to the people who did throw their hats. All eight of you. Yeah. 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 All eight of you. Hats. And it was delayed. They were like, is this when we do this? Yeah, we do it now, right? <laughs> this happens? Okay. A hat trick is when a player scores three goals yeah. in one game, yeah. and traditionally you throw your hat on the ice after the third goal. That's correct. Maybe we lost count. <laughs> Colter, I don't know. Maybe we lost count, man. Yeah, yeah. I have no clue, honestly, what happened there. But got about eight hats for us. <laughs> I mean, it's worth it. Hey, hey, look, worth it you know? Do you get to keep those? Yeah, yeah, I got to keep them. That's my question. Were there some good ones in there? <laughs> okay, are there right. a couple good ones in there, though? Yeah, there's a few good making hats in there. Oh, I, right. Nice. Look, man, I yeah. love my Tiger's hat. I would be hesitant to throw it on the ice. I'd be like, I don't get this back. <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, no. So you get to keep the hats. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's I respect why I that if you don't throw a hat. I'm a big hat guy. So yeah. If you oh, okay. like a hat, don't throw it. Oh, that's why right. I say that's bring fair. one with you. That's bring fair. an extra. Yeah. To be uh-huh. fair, I know firsthand there were a few wives who didn't want their husbands throwing their hats. Oh, because of the and, mm, yep. follicle situations. And, and uh, well, yeah. No, maybe you'll have hat head. Don't do that. Um, it is pretty tough to see the, or it was a little tough to see the numbers on the jerseys. So maybe a few folks didn't know that it was a 19 who got the goal at the end there okay. or the second goal. It was tough for me at least to read those numbers from up, up in the press box, but all the same, I still like the jerseys. Yeah. I think they looked pretty good on the ice. Overall. Yeah. Yeah. They were very bright. Mm-hmm. Very well, bright. Double dare. Knoxville's were very dark. So good, good contrast. I want to talk about something you did when you scored the hat trick. You took the puck. You tossed the puck in the crowd. Oh, did you hear the story about this? No, no. I no one could it. find it. Oh, really? Until the next day. <laughs> <laughs> it had landed in a lady's purse. Yep. Really? Oh, awesome. You had signed it, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you threw and, it in the crowd. Uh-huh. No one could find that puck. <laughs> oh, man. Lady finds it in her purse the next day <laughs> and posts it up on Facebook. Baby, what is yep. this in my yeah. purse? How long is the puck? It's an hilarious. autographed puck. <laughs> it was one of the shillings, I think. <laughs> I remember seeing that. Tell me about you. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from uh, Fairbanks, Alaska. Fairbanks, Alaska, yeah. and... Uh, a native there grew up there. Yeah, born and raised. Uh, didn't leave until I went to college four years ago or so. So when did you start playing hockey? Oh, uh, I started playing. When I was three or four years old. Yeah, okay. normal, yeah, normal answer. Yeah, standard. I heard normal that's answer. a pretty standard answer. Mm-hmm. That's a good standard answer for anyone up north down here. It's like oh, I was about eighteen yeah. and uh, <laughs> didn't even know there was such a thing. <laughs> no, thought it was fun. But yeah, Fairbanks, three four years old. Uh, tell me where you played. How'd you uh, get in Macon? Shoot, uh, I played. Uh, all of my youth hockey growing up at Fairbanks, then I got lucky enough to play for the junior team in Fairbanks, okay. and then uh, college came around, and I went to the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire, played four years, got a degree, and then last year I spent most of my year at Huntsville and bounced around at Peoria, and then Roanoke, and then this year obviously we started at Roanoke and then came to Macon, mm-hmm. so it's been it's been a lot of teams in a short amount of time. You won the Robbie Cup too, didn't you? When yeah, you were, yeah. Oh, right now, I was lucky enough to win two uh, national championships while I was playing junior in my home. Look at you! Fairbanks. All right now, ding yeah. the bell for that. Yeah, that was um, nice. Alex, you and I were talking about this, and and I want to say this. Um, it was a bit of a. Uh, there were some fans who were upset about the trade bringing you in, trading Ortiz. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you've earned your credit. Yeah, I think I think that should be <laughs> we'll done. Throw now. that out there. Yeah. You've earned your credibility. Yeah, but I said this off the air. Coach Coach Michael inherited a team. And now it's it's his turn to build a team, mm-hmm. and I like to see that that you've made such an impact so quick. So uh, congrats to both yeah, of you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate absolutely. Being here. You're gonna ask him the hockey movie because he's the first time he's been here. Yeah, so I'll ask you that. Sorry, greatest that hockey book. movie of all time. There are only three choices. There is Miracle, Slapshot, or Goon. Oh, easy Miracle. Yes, Everybody <laughs> says that. Easy. Easy. <laughs> that was, yeah, that's my I'm boy. sorry. The correct answer was goon, and you're going to have to get that shirt back. <laughs> All right. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I already sweated. Nobody. Has, <laughs> we still have yet to have somebody give Tony the satisfaction. Nobody's Nobody. giving him his answer. Only me. I'm the only one who apparently likes this movie, have and that is a damn shame. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. If, uh, Colton if, Walter. Maybe if we had a goon on the team. They See, there's not a goon team, on the squad. We don't really have one. There's not one right now, but can I ask about the guy from uh, Huntsville 
on Friday night. Um, looked like he was basically a Sasquatch on skates. Oh, Lord. Who oh, is this guy? Uh, Cantor, Baxter, Baxter Cantor. Cantor. Yeah, that guy. Uh-huh. He's a tough kid. Mm, Lord. Yeah, he's tough. A Sasquatch on skates? That's what he looked like, Charles. <laughs> just a Sasquatch in a hockey suit. Harry like that? Just, a little bit. A little wow. bit, yeah. Yeah, wow. a big guy, man. Goliath defending David after Urban got in it with past <laughs> P.S. and Teeny stepping out of the penalty box. Well, I mean, who wouldn't go pick on that kid? <laughs> He's so small. He's like a little lawn gnome. Stop here. Yeah. <laughs> they have a lawn gnome and a Sasquatch on their Leave team. Leave it alone. And we'll see them on Friday night. Yeah, we will. Centerplex. And they're going to hear this. This is a good bulletin are. board material. They four pack. <laughs> Tony uh, Doolin. He'll be the one running around in the Doug Glatt jersey. Look no, no, look. Uh, Cantor, look, I'm sorry about what I said. <laughs> I want to take that back. <laughs> Being Centini, I stand by it. <laughs> You're 5'3", man. I stand you by say, it. What you ain't about that life? <laughs> I ain't about that life. Colton, good to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, Welcome thanks. to Macon. Thanks for coming by, bro. Sorry it gets off the rail sometimes. Really Alex, does. always good to see you, yeah, buddy. Like, by yeah, the man. way, he makes us play this twice. Yeah. Yeah. The voice. Did you know he was nominated for a Grammy <laughs> for this one? Yeah. Yeah. Damn shame he lost. Though. Lost to Billie Eilish. Oh, that's the thing about it. Yeah. She's not even a hockey voice. announcer. She's not. got to my cap to her. Here's Billy Strings dusting a baggie on the creek.